Knowing when to switch your strings is uh, really depending on the person and how you play, what kind of strings you play on, where you live, things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over some of the basics today. So some indications of when it's time to switch your strings at first is going to be is if they have black on them. What do I mean by that? If you run your finger below your first string or even your second string and you get black grime on your fingertip. Okay, that's uh, possibly an indication it's time to switch your strings because you have this buildup that comes out of your hands. You have oils and if you don't wash your hands before you like you eat some chips and you rub them on your pants and then you touch your guitar, all those oils or the salts that are on the chips go onto your strings and onto your fretboard. So what you want to do is wash your hands before you play your guitar. And then during the way you're playing your guitar though, you have oils that are released, uh, also sweat. Just from your hands, you know, from your pores, it's natural. Some people more than others, of course. But um, if anything, when you're playing, you develop that sweat gets put onto the strings and it corrodes them over time. Okay, so if you, if you notice any discoloration or any rust on strings, you're going to notice them probably in the spots where you play the most as well. For me, I play the D major a lot and the G major a lot on this guitar right here, this acoustic guitar. So I see a lot of corrosion or black or any kind of grime or buildup or discoloration usually on these frets right here, in this area usually. On my right hand, you'll sometimes see them on the 6th and 5th string, sometimes on the 1st string as well, depending where I rest my hand a lot as well. Uh, depending on what strings you use, you can have them coated. I use coated strings just because I like the way this brand sounds. But um, the coated strings, they have like a film that's put over the strings and that can help stop your strings from oxidizing faster than others, okay? So keep that in mind as well. So depending on the strings you use, and as I said earlier, where you live as well is another thing because if you live in a very humid place, your strings are going to rust a lot faster than, say, a dry place. I live in a dry place. I don't have a case for this guitar. I leave it out, and it's perfectly fine. And um, it also comes down to preference of how you like your strings because after a while, let's say you have your strings on for a month, They'll, they'll settle in and they'll sound really warm and nice. I like my strings on this guitar at least uh, to sound really dull. So I like to leave my strings on at least six months to a year sometimes depending on how much I've been playing on this guy. Um, and uh, because of that, the strings, they have a different type of tone to them. Uh, when they're really dull compared to when they're really bright. Uh, I love the way they sound when they're really new but as time passes on, every day that these strings are stretched on this guitar and that I play it, they start to deteriorate as, or they start to digress as far as the tone on them. And uh, I love it. I love the way they sound when they're not so bright. But some people like it when they're really bright strings. So you might want to change them uh, every two weeks. Uh, if you play really heavy-handed, heavy like, uh, you know, really heavy, or if you pluck hard or if you fret hard, things like that, that can cause your strings as well to um, go ahead and sound duller faster. You might want to switch them out faster. It also depends on the brand as well. So you might want to look into different brands and see what you like as a guitar player. Instead of just uh, going on someone else's personal preference, you might just want to go ahead and take the route of try new strings, you know, try slinkies, Ernie Balls, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just find something after a while that fits you. And that takes time and it does, it does take some money. So a couple other tips would be is this. If, if you notice one string is popping all the time, you might not want to change out the whole set. What you might want to do is, let's say in, on this guitar, I have a tendency to have the third string, the G string, pop a lot. So if that were to happen, my first indicate or my first warning sign would be is to check over here where the string actually meets the nut and see if I have like a little burr or any a little kink where the string maybe I'm not stringing the string right or like I said if you have a little burr you might have to to get a file and file it down make sure everything's smooth as the string enters the hole because that could be snapping the string on that end same thing on this end over here I use pegs on this guitar right here so if this peg isn't set properly in here it could be putting stress on the string at a point where it's going to keep snapping or you can have a little sharp edge as well on this side so you might want to look into that as well but um, if it's don't always think it's the if it's not the strings uh, actually I'm sorry I should say if your guitar if you have new strings and your guitar won't hold tuning 
You should possibly look into if it's the action on the guitar, meaning how far the, the distance the strings are away from the frets when you play on them. It could be something like that. Maybe the, the, the neck has more strain on it. Anything, it could be other possibilities. So the first thing to do though, is if you're having problems with keeping tuning, uh, if, you're, if you change your strings, let's say that, you might wanna change your strings first. If your strings are staying in tune, uh, or are not staying in tune after, I should say, if they're not staying in tune after you tune the guitar and get new strings, after a couple days, um, it's possibly your guitar then. But to get to the question of knowing when to switch your strings, if you're a beginner, I'd recommend this. I'd recommend you play, let's say you play 20 minutes a day for three months. Switch them out. Your ear's gonna notice an automatic difference with new strings. At first, the strings are gonna sound really tinny and bright. And they're gonna be like that for the first day or two and your strings aren't gonna stay in tune as much as you would like them to because they need to stretch out. Once they stretch out in the tuning, by tuning your guitar every day and every couple hours, tune it up, the strings are going to start to settle in. Once that happens, the strings are going to start to stay in tune. Then you're going to start noticing, after a while, you're playing, you're playing, you're playing, and it sounds really nice and pretty. It's going to slip on you. You're not going to start noticing, actually, when the, sounds, the sound of the quality of the string starts to change. Excuse me. Because you're always playing on the guitar, and because you're the one always playing on the guitar, you're not going to hear the difference. Uh, say, let's say if someone else is around, they hear you play one week, and then if they're a guitar player, they come back in a couple weeks, you're really playing on it, they might notice your strings sound dull. Why can they hear it more than you is because they don't hear your guitar every day like you do. Since you're the one playing your guitar, it's decreasing on the, the value of the strings, not the value, but the quality of the sound of the strings are decreasing while you're playing it every day. So you're getting used to that tone that they're already having at that time. And for me, I like it. I like the way on this guitar, like I said, it sounds really dull after a while, but it sounds great. You get different tones that you don't get, say, out of a guitar that has brand new strings. So if you're a beginner, once again, play for three months, 20 minutes a day, five days a week, switch them out every three, every three months, you know? And then uh, try different brands. If you have a little cash, try a different brand every month. You know, you're gonna, they're gonna sound still probably good in a month. Depending on the type of string you use, if you use a low grade string, sometimes they sound dull right out of the package. So keep that in mind as, keep that in mind as well. But um, let's say if you wanna, if you're just using a guitar for gigging, you know, let's say for taking to your friend's house not for gigging, take it to your friend's house. Once one string pops and you don't really care, you know, just put one new string on. One string is gonna sound brighter than the other, it's not gonna make a, make a big deal if you're just using it to lug around, take to your friend's houses. But if you're gigging, let's say if you're taking gigs, you're playing shows and stuff like that, uh, you wanna switch your strings probably every couple of weeks if you really like that new tone. And if you like that real warm tone, switch, it up, switch them every month and don't, put new strings on right before the gig, try to put it on two days prior to the gig so the strings can stretch out. You don't wanna go ahead and just have them on there the day of the show, or at least one new string and the other ones are all old. Switch them out all together if you're doing a lot of gigging, always keep them consistently switching out. If one pops, switch them all. If, if it pops during the show, switch only one uh, that one string out until the show's over, then switch the rest. But um, sometimes, depending on the strings, depending on the guitar, like I said, maybe you'll like it more if they sound dull. You know, it, me personally, if I'm ever doing studio work, I will switch them out a couple days in advance so I don't have that real bright tinny tone, but they sound a little bit more warm and settled. That's perfect for studio work. But uh, if for me personally, if I'm doing any kind of recording, I'll leave old strings on there. Actually, some of my videos were shot with old strings. I just barely switched them out, which in that case, you can always, if you don't know how to switch your guitar strings, I'm going to leave a link to a video where you can learn how to switch your acoustic or electric guitar strings to this video. All right, well, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Oh, wait, one more thing. You can always, uh, preventive ways of um, helping your guitar strings stay, I guess, healthy, I guess, so you don't get as much grime and stuff, is you can always put it in the case. Uh, you can always use one of those little rags. I don't have one, but like pretending I do, you can, after you play, you can take a rag and wipe your strings down, things like that. But ultimately, strings are gonna go old. Okay, strings are gonna go old, but it, it happens. It's part of life. Get used to it. It's a part of being a guitar player. It happens to violinists, anything with stringed instruments, cellos, anything, uh, harps. So just keep that in mind. Strings have a lifespan on them. You could do things to keep them a little bit alive longer, or you could pick your preferred strings and 
use them as they are and as, as they deteriorate in time, you'll get used to the sound and that's when you want to switch them, get used to the sound you like. Or um, you, like me, you can just maybe prefer dull, the dull string in sound or the dull sound in strings. But it really just depends on your personal preference. So you're going to have to get used to switching out strings, trying different brands. Once you find something you like, stick with it. You know, that's what I did. And uh, I use Elixirs, the Polyweb. I, I, um, they have a film on them, and I only use Elixirs for these strings. Or, I'm sorry, for this guitar, not these strings. I only use Elixirs for this guitar. And for my electric guitars, I use different uh, kinds of strings. But um, I love the way Elixirs sound. I will stick with this brand until they stop making them. Or until I die, whichever one comes first. But... Um, yeah, so keep that in mind. It's personal preference. It really does come down to personal preference. And also just remembering that it's a, a matter of time before your strings start to give out on you. And you got to get used to switching them and you got to get used to trying different brands till you find a brand you like. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.